everyone, it's Anetta Mango here with K-pop Oracles and we're bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be an update on SM's new boy group and I have like a, a series of questions here and I'm just going to go through them one by one, okay? So first question I'm going to ask is, will they be successful? Can they go far? Will they be successful? I'll pull like three cards for this one. Will Essence new boy group be successful? We got two of swords. Okay, let me pull two more cards. Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles and we got the King of Cups coming out here. Okay, will they be successful? Most likely, yes. I mean, it's gonna, it's not gonna happen overnight though because the Two of Swords, is, it's very slow moving energy. Like this is very stagnant. Um, I think people are gonna really observe them, like kind of figure out, okay, like, what's so great about them like really kind of um see what's so great about them and what's so not so great about them and it's gonna be it's gonna take some time because pentacles is very slow moving energy it would, and um i think oh, yeah after a little bit of waiting like a little time or a waiting period like people are gonna be like okay this group is legit this group is pretty good and the king of cups here is card usually represents support okay so usually masculine energy so perhaps a lot of their fans may be like a lot of dudes maybe or just like masculine all right what else will they find success will they be successful Janis Joplin well, if you all know Janis Joplin, she was insanely successful during her time. Um, she was someone who, I, I guess was like the quintessential hippie, you know, just like all about freedom loving, love, power, um, peace, that sort of deal. So um, I feel like there, there's something about them that is gonna make them like seem very original, very unique because Janis Joplin was very, um, I, I, I guess like, uh, she, she wasn't trying to like copy other people. She was like embracing what she had, that sort of deal. And um, I also feel maybe love will be like a really big theme in, in their songs and their concept because she was all about love, like showing like, the power of love and um versus like power like sh sh um so what else <laughs> let me give really pull more one more card to get a clear understanding we got bjork another famous artist okay Okay, oh, I mean, I guess with her, it's just like staying positive, like being optimistic about things, being hopeful. So it's just like maybe there's something about them, their theme, their concept, their overall energy is going to um, bring a lot of hope to, to a lot of people or just like really, especially those who are struggling, like I feel like they'll be seen as like a symbol of optimism, of positive energy and I don't know, like maybe that will like really take over the world. Like something about that will really capture a lot of people. Okay. Next question. Will SM invest in them? Let's see. We're going to pull three cards for this one. Will SM invest in them? We got the Queen of Wands. We got the Two of Cups. We got the Moon in Reverse. Okay, 
So I'm saying for now, most likely yes. Okay, this is for now. Okay, things can change because we have the Two of Cups here, which is all about four man alliance, a pot, like a a partnership. So it seems like they'll work well together for now. And the Queen of Wands here, it seems like they'll um, they'll be really working hard to make sure that this group's creativity this really soars like really shines um, because the queen of wands is someone who's very charismatic very you know stands out is very captivating so they'll be doing a lot to make them like this queen of wands very powerful very captivating okay the moon here in reverse is all about um making i feel like making sure there's transparency because the moon in the upright position is like kind of like things are a little cloudy just like un uncertain so making sure that there there's openness between them there's like open yeah open communication open dialogue that sort of deal like no secrets between them what else we got discipline I feel like really offering a lot of constructive criticism, okay? Like really making sure that like they're in tip top shape or like really well prepared for their debut. Um, really spending a lot of time planning, a lot of group activities, a lot of uh, songs, CDs, that sort of deal, concerts maybe. A lot of strategizing. And we got sell, uh, not celebrate we got com completion at the bottom of the deck i mean this was a, basically a picture of a dude celebrating so i mean the overall energy is positive so most likely they'll invest in them for now um it seems like it's going to, this partnership is like a win-win or for both parties um so yeah so i feel like they'll they'll do a good job at managing them for now Okay. All right. What about, I guess, what are their strengths? What well, is this new boy group strengths? We got six of cups. Okay. Let me pull two more cards. Temperance. We got the High Priestess. Okay. High Priestess, Temperance, and Six of Cups. I think with the Six of Cups here, I feel like they're, they've been, they've, they're friends with a lot, like perhaps some people who are um, veterans in the industry. So they, they have some history there. So that I think maybe that's, they're able to form some connections and that will help them get far, I feel. And with the Temperance card, Okay, right now I'm getting like really innocent goody two shoe vibes. Like I don't see any anything bad. Like I don't I don't get that bad boy vibe or very uh, party boy image. And with the high priestess here, I feel like they're right now like they're really good at kind of keeping a low profile, not revealing too much about themselves. Um, really only trusting a select few. Like they they just don't want to go around telling people their business. Like I feel like they're very cautious. They just don't want, I guess they're a little concerned about um, people knowing too much about them for whatever reason. I, I guess maybe it's for a good reason, for good, good cause. Okay, what are their strengths? Trusting your intuition. Trusting your intuition. Okay. So, I okay. I mean, like, I feel they just like when it comes to like really major life decisions, they really trust their gut. They really trust what the universe has in store for them. They feel like their life life is is truly guided towards this this industry, this field. So they seem very mature for their age.
sharing of yourself. Yeah, I feel like that relates to that High Priestess card here. Um, trying not to... Yeah, not try not to reveal too much of, of, about themselves to the public, but uh, with the only a select trusted few. And with those select trusted few, like they are... Um, I feel like they, yeah, they're they're not afraid to kind of share what what's on their mind, their how they're feeling, that they're they're very generous with these people, very giving. Okay. All right, so let's get a sense of like what their songs are like. Okay. I think in my other video I already asked what their concept is like, so let's talk about their songs. What are the songs like? Okay, we got a couple cards here popping out. We got Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups popping out here. Okay, Five of Cups here. Oh, geez. Okay, I don't want to say like emo or anything, but like, I mean, the Five of Cups is a card that represents sadness. So I don't know, maybe, maybe their songs may deal with this theme of sadness or depression or feeling like you ain't got support, no one to rely on, that sort of deal. Um, but also, I feel like with the Knight of Wands here, there may be some like a dash of love in there because the Knight of Wands is a very flirtatious in individual. So um, there could be themes of like temptation, flirting and love in there. And um, Ace of Pentacles, it could be just like life in general, like having new beginnings, having big wins in your life, that sort of deal. So, um, I, don't, I feel like almost like their songs may just kind of try to convey a message to people. I don't know, like some sort of positive m message or meaning. Like there's something deep about it. We got release. So, like letting go of the past, um, trying to be the best that they can be, uh, or like trying to grow, learning from the past, and moving on, not dwelling in it. Possibility. Figuring out, like seeing where life takes them, seeing like um, just going with the flow of things. So, or maybe just, I've, yeah, again, like the whole life in general, that sort of deal. Um, being open to new experiences. Let me pull like one more card. We got rock, picture of a rock and some trees here. Okay, so these are known to be very strong, all about endurance. Like being able to persevere during difficult moments. So I feel like, yeah, it's gonna be, some of their songs may be talking about struggles maybe, just getting through it. All right, final question, can they, um, I guess will they be like a long-lasting group? Like will they be, can they go to the top? That sort of deal. Let's see. We got Eight of Swords. Let me pull two more cards. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. <clears throat> okay. I would say most likely 
I mean, it may be a struggle at first because with the Eight of Swords here, it's just kind of stagnant energy. So it's going to take some time. I don't know, like there may be some inner demons they may have to work through in order to like really get there. But I think eventually that they'll walk away from whatever is holding them back and that will help them feel a sense of release, a sense of freedom and that will help them rise. And the King of Swords here is someone who is He's very strong, very, very powerful. So, I mean, they could be like a, like a force, perhaps, in the industry. Like, I feel like they're just very, um, it, it, I feel like it, it, it's going to be really hard to kind of compare them with other groups because it, like this is a, a, a group that's going to try to stand out on its own, try not to be like the others, I feel like kind of going against the norm. That's one of my senses. Like they don't want to be like, like, have the same sound or have the same type of lyrics. That sort of deal. Like they just want to be their own individual. Okay. What else? Actually, I'm gonna pull this card. We got Freddie Mercury. I mean, Freddie Mercury was a very famous, prominent figure in the industry. So they could be like him in some regards, like very uh, well known in the industry, but also like very, I mean, Freddie Mercury was known for his like being like dr dramatic, flamboyant. So perhaps their image may be, they may try to like have this sort of image that's very flamboyant, very out there. Um, very loud. Uh, it's it's really. I feel like it's going to be very eye catching. So, yeah. Okay. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at Kpop Oracles One, and you know I'm on Patreon. Support me there. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.